Okay guys, so no joke, true story, I'm back here folding laundry and I hear Max yelling, Dad, Bib's making a mess. So I come out and Olivia is on the counter. She has the soy milk out and is attempting to pour it into a cereal bowl for her big brother. Meanwhile, it's dripping all over the countertop, the chairs, and the floor. This is pretty much a daily occurrence. If you guys have kids, you know. I like to have a clean house. Just running a vacuum through real quick, once a day, and wiping down counters and things like that. When I know that dirty feet have been up on the counter is something that makes me sleep a little bit better. So yes, cleaning is a big part of our lives around here. So since we are spring cleaning, we are also spring cleaning our insides. We are doing a little detoxifying green juice and I'm going to start with a ginger lime shot. So let's get juicy. For green juice, we have just a little bit of everything because we went to the farmer's market and found so many good local veggies and greens that we kind of have an overabundance, which isn't a bad thing. So we've got some local cucumbers local curly kale and collards from the farmer's market. I mentioned dandelion greens last week. They're really great for detoxifying and cleansing the liver. And of course, some dino kale, parsley, always add some herbs and some lemon and green apple for the kids. But first we're gonna get started with our ginger lime juice. Mm. Bev, can you say cutie juice? Cutie juice. <laughs> cutie juice. Cutie juice. Are we having cutie juice? Yeah. We're doing some green apples, some cuties, and some carrots. The kids love cutie juice, and they also love green dino juice. That's our other favorite. One, two, show them how we do. Three, four, turn it up more. Five, six, can you do it like this? Seven, eight, and don't be late now. So I was listening to this podcast the other day and it was saying most of us live in a home that is more toxic than our external environment. So more toxins inside the home than when we leave the home. And that's kind of crazy when you think about the smog and smoke and cigarettes and pollution all around us. But I started to think about it and I was like, wow, yeah. I have started to put more thought and care into the cleaning products we use because I think about pest control, spraying the perimeters of the home inside and out, and lawn services spraying weed killers on your lawn. And then I think about the kiddos who pick up and put everything in their mouths, whether it's food or not, straight off the floor. They're drinking from the faucets. So it's become really important to us to filter our water, filter our air, and clean our home with the best possible solutions. But we aren't very big on master cleanses and detoxes. We do eat a plant-based diet because it is the most antioxidant rich and it is highly detoxifying in and of itself. So just by drinking a massive green juice and eating fresh fruits and vegetables throughout the day, as well as nuts, seeds, legumes, as close to their natural state as possible, we're optimizing our body's ability to continually detoxify at a normal rate. So green juice has been one of our staples for years or green smoothies. We don't start a day without either one of them. This diet is highly anti-inflammatory and antioxidant rich, which means it's helping your body to fight free radicals, which are all of those things that I mentioned as soon as you leave the home or like I said, toxins that might be hiding in your home. So we do get tons and tons of questions from concerned parents, especially about the household cleaning products we use. And we have turned to Branch Basics. We've been using it for years, basically since Max was born. And it has really filled that void for us in the household cleaning products category because it's simple and clean, toxin free. It's hypoallergenic, it's non-toxic doesn't contain any harmful fragrances, it's pet and kid friendly, it's super cost effective. In fact, when you run out, 
all you have to reorder is the concentrate and the oxygen boost. So we use the concentrate for everything, countertops, floors, laundry. You can even use it as a hand soap and to wash your produce. The oxygen boost is also very multifaceted. So you can use it as a stain remover. You can use it in laundry. You can use it for tough deposits on pots and pans and tile and grout not one of my favorite things to clean. So kiddos are messy, dogs are messy. We are constantly tracking sand in and out of the house. Needless to say, the chores never stop around here, but Branch Basics has made it so straightforward and such a breeze. We don't have to worry about what is in the products. We trust them completely and they do such a great job, most importantly. So if you guys are interested in checking out Branch Basics, you can actually use Eat Move Rest for 15% off any of the starter kits. Those come with either the glass or plastic bottles, but we really, really love glass. This is bad. Once I start, I can't stop. It starts with the bathroom mirrors, then it turns into all of the mirrors in the whole house, and then the windows, and before I know it, I'm in deep, and I can't, can't put it down. I always like to have a day of rest, but it usually doubles as an active recovery day, so Sundays are my day to take off from actual workouts and instead I do something like obviously like a long walk with the family which we do most days anyway or things like mowing vacuuming cleaning scrubbing it's a real workout it's so gratifying and satisfying to clean and on top of that I don't have to wear gloves and a mask like I used to all the time I remember trying to scrub the calcium deposits and hard water off of my shower and I would literally be like masked and suited up. It was so gross. So we finally reached a pausing point with the cleaning. Dusty has been outside planting plants and doing some yard cleanup, cleaning out the pool. Meanwhile, I've been inside tidying up, going through my closet, finding things to donate, putting laundry away, and in between that, making meals. And it's finally almost dinner time. So the work really does not stop around here. So we get a lot of questions from you guys about cleaning and just the real honest truth about day-to-day -day life around here. So this is kind of a sneak peek into all of that. It's not all just sunshine and rainbows and smoothie bowls. There is a lot of elbow grease that goes into keeping up a house when you're a homeowner and taking care of two crazy kiddos. What's your take, Papa Bear? How do you Honor. feel about parent life and cleaning and being homeowners and oh, is it man. everything you ever hoped it could be? It's everything and more. <laughs> it is a lot of work, um, a lot of fun, but a lot of work for sure. And yeah, Sundays, unfortunately, like Aaron said, are supposed to be a day of rest, but I hate to say they usually turn into crazy days of work and today has been no exception. So like she said, we've been cleaning the pool cleaning toilets, started out with laundry and all the things. But yeah, the main thing is even with buying this house, it's like we lived in an old house back in Nebraska that had old insulation and old plasterboard and all the things. And we eventually remodeled all of that, but we were super excited to move into this house because it's got a crazy clean ventilation system and we're using the cleanest of products. We know that the paint is low VOC, like all the things and like Aaron, water of course the water we yeah we've got ro system and we're not like clean freaks um in fact if we were we wouldn't have dogs and kids and right <laughs> and it's weird because you have to find this balance of like 
like eat clean and people say live dirty um like but when i think of dirty i think of like dirt like max and i are outside planting plants and aaron's working in the garden um because like that bacteria and the, that like dirt is like good for us and dogs and animals like there's some good podcasts actually that we've listened to from physicians that say eat clean and live dirty for sure i always comes... feel like i'm more okay with germs from nature than i am with germs from other people and things like toxic ingredients in products totally same yeah and and so like we haven't used hand sanitizer in like years we've never used it with the kids even like flying and with with all the crazy things that are going around all the time like we would rather frankly get sick and like have our immune systems be upgraded than use like harsh chemicals and hand sanitizers and all the things so yeah we upgraded our cleaning products our household cleaning products years ago and have been using branch basics and now in our new house even like aaron was saying this morning it's like with all these windows it's hard to do just one spot i feel like our cleaning duties are different like yeah on the daily i'm usually running a vacuum through the house and i am definitely the pick up as you go type so in the yeah. kitchen if i have it my way i pick up after every single meal and rinse and clean and dry and put things away as well as with kids toys if a room gets untidied i'm following right behind and i swoop in and put things away right so i think i'm more of like the daily cleaner and you're more of like the deep cleaner i'm more of like the deep cleaner i actually go through and do toilets and yeah all the all the nasty messy things but again like you were saying before too i think we're like the modern family. Like we both work at home. We spend all of our time together here at home. And yes, while well, sometimes I'm out in the yard and Aaron's in here making brownies like today. <laughs> today and felt very it domestic. It seems very but... old fashioned and domestic. We are very modern. Like we split everything. And I remember when we got married, you mentioned this earlier, like we split things 100 100 like there's no you do half of the stuff and everybody I do half always the stuff. says like now like the modern the definition of a modern couple is 50 50 the right. husband takes 50 percent of duties and the wife takes the other 50 percent right well, we took that to another level because we're overachievers and we're like we both know that we have to give 100 100 right. so i think that's something to keep in mind yeah. is sometimes i can tend to be like Dusty, get this, but I've learned to re recognize that he's never just sitting on the couch eating popcorn, <laughs> watching a football game. He's always doing something too. So yeah. rather than trying to like offload or reallocate duties to him or he to me, like we've right. realized like we just got to do it for ourselves or let it sit and wait for later because we are both going full throttle all the time. Yeah, I'm like, let's just both pretend like we're single parents. Let's just. If we see a dirty diaper, change the dirty diaper. If we see something on the floor, pick it up. Like, let's just both pretend like we're single parents and that way, like, we're always doing all the things. I recognize how much you do. Like, I feel super lucky because I know there are a lot of husbands that get a bad rap because maybe they don't help out or maybe that's just like a, a stigma. I don't know, but right. I definitely have recognized that you do a lot so but we're raising max to do the same in fact we were just talking to grandma my mom on the phone and max was walking her through the yard and he was saying mom grandma look at the mulberries and look at the like all the fruit trees that i'm planting mm -hmm. and he's like so independent and so grown and so smart and she was telling me she was like i'm so proud of him and she's like that's how i raised you and it's true my mom made sure that I knew how to wash dishes and I knew how to do laundry and I knew how to cook. So when I went off to college, I did all these things. And mm -hmm. even when we got together, you always noticed, you were like, yeah, you you do a lot of things. Like there's nothing I need to do for you. I think we were both kind of raised that way. Yeah, like I yeah. know a lot of wives that lay clothes out for their husbands and that's great. <laughs> and that's wonderful and it's so sweet. And sometimes yeah. I think it would be cute to be like that, but that's yeah. just not us. We've always been like we said, like the 50-50 or 100-100 couple. But I think we were both raised to really take care of our belongings. It's kind of a reflection of like how we take care of our bodies too. I think it's sure. just, it's definitely like once you start doing it in one area, you start doing it in all of the areas, kind of like eat, move, rest. The same is true with cleanliness and tidiness and right. taking care. Yeah, I think it's funny because like you say, like our bodies are a temple. Well, our house is, 
like our physical temple and you always say like clean like jesus is coming well it's, i was gonna say that it's yeah it's so like, funny and it's my mom true. told me like when i was little and i'll never forget she was like clean your house like jesus was coming for dinner tonight <laughs> so it is a sunday it's supposed to be a day of rest yep. and i don't want to be the martha you know isn't, isn't the martha the busy body the busy that was body. like cleaning when jesus came over and <laughs> right. Mary. but you know it just feels so much better to kick your feet up at the end of the day knowing that the chores are done and everything was cleaned and organized yeah and done well it just makes it feel like rest is well deserved and totally and what i love again about the cleaning products specifically is that like the kids can help like max is always like dad let me help let me help let me spray it i was gonna say too when you mentioned max helping and the kids being around i think that going back to like how we were raised i always saw my mom and dad doing this very thing like working together helping in the yard cleaning right. and so now that has translated into this phrase that we say a lot, lead by example. If we want our kids to eat healthy, we eat healthy and right. they follow suit. Right. The kids now eat my salads with me. Yep. And so like another thing is that when they're at this young age, don't feel like you have to do everything for them because they're very yeah. impressionable, but they're also very eager to please and eager to help. So right. they're not quite to that phase where they're like, mom and dad are so uncool, like shut up, leave me alone. Right. They're at this stage where I say, hey Liv, will you take this cup of water to daddy? Yep. And she'd go gladly does it and then she claps her hands sometimes and she's like yay right. and max too like today things. he was yeah. like dad i want to help you plant and i'm like well this is you know this is kind of hard or this is kind of dangerous he's like help me like i want to help you cut this and i want to help you dig this hole and he's like i want to help you clean the pool and so like he legit did it all and in fact i was just watching a uh instagram post from this doctor the other day and he was saying the the best, the worst thing you can do for your kids is to do things for them. He was like, the best thing, therefore, is to make them do things on their own or help, you know, push them in that direction of learning how to do things on their own. Yeah, so, fostering a sense of independence, critical thinking, problem solving, like all the things. And not so that's, to get preachy because we're definitely not perfect, right. but <laughs> these are all things that definitely I think we both saw our parents doing. Right. And that we are super conscious of doing ourselves. Now that being said, yes, I screamed at Max in the backyard for almost cutting his, cutting his sister with the landscape <laughs> scissors and like doing all the things like again we're not perfect we're still yelling and raising our voices and doing all the things that we shouldn't as parents but i mean again we're this is all about being conscious being aware and making efforts to you know and i think another important thing with kids too is that it is actually healthy to allow them to make messes right if they're in their kids room and they have the basket of legos yeah. and they dump it completely out yeah. but they're just silently in there keeping to themselves building something that is their version of work that has really broken us of our type a tendencies like right. overcoming us and like becoming super ocd with cleanliness right. is having kids and recognizing like you have to allow a little bit of mess making totally letting them make messes but teaching them to put things away and yes letting them help us clean windows and, and countertops and everything it's it's been fun for sure and we feel super blessed to be able to be at home and be with our kids and mm -hmm. leading by example and doing all these things for sure so yeah what are our daily duties as far as like cleaning and running this ship yeah and what are like weekly and what's monthly and what's maybe seasonal we're getting into that spring cleaning deep cleaning donating mode right now i would say yep. that happens like probably once or twice a year yeah maybe even seasonally quarterly yeah. rather than buying new hangers yeah. i've started to do one in one out because if you buy something new and it requires a hanger you have to find something to donate so right. that you're not adding an overabundance you're donating when you find something new yeah and then another thing is for an entire year Start by flipping all of your hangers the backwards way so the hook is facing out. Right. <laughs> and then at the end of the year, like once you wear something and put it back, put it back the normal way so the hook is facing in. And at yeah. the end of that year, take note of which ones are still facing out and right. that you didn't touch. And that means you can donate those and let them go. Or maybe even like the end of the month. Yeah. Like give it a month or give it a, you know, a season. If you haven't worn it, get rid of it. I think more on like a weekly basis, we are 
washing all of the towels in the house. Like yeah. we let them kind of just pile up so we can do a load of all the towels at once and bedding as well. Usually that's a weekly task. Right. And then things like mirrors and toilets. Yeah. Um, some of the things that build up over the week. Right. I think on like a every other day basis is probably some load of clothing, laundry, and on the daily, vacuuming. Definitely Bo vacuuming. is a hairball. Yeah. And one more tip. This could also help you guys. I'm a big fan of divide and conquer. I recommend taking one thing at a time. So yeah. maybe that means one shelf at a time, or if you're doing a full deep cleaning of the whole house, pick one room each day right. and just go through it that way. Do windows on Monday, do mirrors on Tuesday, do toilets on mm -hmm. you know Wednesday, and splitting it up like that, legit, like they all only take 10 minutes. So divide and conquer for sure. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this cleaning inspo has helped you guys. <laughs> Let us know what you took away from it. Leave us some love in the comments yep. and let us know what your best cleaning hacks and tips and motivational right. things are that would help the rest of us to totally. learn more. We always learn so much from you guys. Yep. I think we grow every time we make a new video because yeah. we kind of like push ourselves to do better. We're like, yeah, what could we do to like help inspire people? And we end up inspiring ourselves to work harder, to be healthier all of the things. So we are we have gratitude for this job and for you guys giving us feedback. Let us know what you guys wanna see next week. We're coming at you every Saturday with new videos on how to eat, move, and rest and be your best version of yourself. Don't forget to check out Branch Basics. There's right. that 15% off discount down in the description. Right. Check it out and get yourselves a starter kit. All right guys, until next time, eat, move, rest, and clean your best. Bye Thanks. guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.